that moment when a person starts studying Kabbalah. At first, he as if tries to study everything with his brains, he sees a clear structure the way you write it, one, two, three, yes, of course, and he's impressed by it, of course. And some point happens the following, a person stops even perceiving that information, meaning he's no longer impressed by it. Now that's it, because different inner instruments started working in him. He starts sensing. He no longer wants to hear, but to start feeling. And when he starts feeling, then begins this inner dissonance. Those new feelings aren't formulated in him yet, and he doesn't have yet those spiritual sensors, and he can't feel the spiritual realm in which he is. Neither that power nor the creator, and thus he has this very big inner mess as a result. And once again, that mess kind of melts away, and once again, he starts working with his brains, and it's uh, periodic. Brains, feelings, brains, feelings. Clear, less clear. You feel more, you feel less. And that's how you advance. The main thing is to advance. But the, the Zohar, it's built only on feelings, therefore you can't perceive it with your brains at all. Well, it seems to you that you can't perceive it when you'll start feeling it, then your brains will start working. How's it in our world? Can you understand anything in our world without feeling it? Impossible. Our entire nature is feeling, desire, a desire which is fulfilled, which feels itself, and thus analyzes, what do I feel then? And that is what all our sciences are established on. What do we mean by saying natural sciences? What do you mean by natural? Science, which is perceived by our nature, by our beastly body, and we study and learn their different manifestations in our senses, in our body. What are they, objective? No, they aren't objective at all. The light divides into seven kinds of light. That's what we think. Regardless of how much we study it, we won't be able to study it any other way because that's how we are created. The different laws, the existence of something, gravity, whatever. That's all the way we feel it. There are entirely different laws, possibly. Completely different dimensions and objects. We call those sciences natural sciences because we study them through our nature, but no way are they objective. They are extremely subjective only with respect to ourselves. It all depends on the observer and so on. And thank God, finally, physicists start acknowledging that. And the same in Kabbalah? The exact same. Meaning, we don't perceive anything, actually. Only that in Kabbalah, every time that we sense something alongside with it, we understand why we feel it the way we do. We're preparing ourselves, our senses, our receptacles to perceive something. We as if make ourselves into this special kind of like a vessel, like a created being, and that vessel feels something, and why does it feel it that way and perceive it the way it does? And we also study that. And in our world, we can't do that because we can't see ourselves from the side.